stay alert. When you get to the city, I make your observations and move on. You have committed crimes against Skyrim and her people. What say you in your defense? Greetings, viewers. Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment, doing part five of joining the Dark Brotherhood. Yes, this is turning into an epic mini series, I guess, as I document my character Kelvin's journey through the Dark Brotherhood. And in the previous part four, you were given an assignment, or an assignment was given by Gabrielle to follow the head of security as he walks through Skyrim and checks the security out of various cities and then you have to assassinate him. But in order to get the bonus and to get certain things you have to kill him in a city which turns out to be a little more difficult than anyone thinks. So Let's get on with this, and I'm going to follow him on his way to what is obviously, uh, <laughs> I forget the name of the city, Solitude. So, yeah, let's get on with following a guy. And I'll probably fast forward through a lot of it because it is a long time. you follow him you want to keep him in view because yeah he is walking really super slow oh, wait on the radar enemy shows up let's see how he handles a bad guy oh wait no the, oh jesus yep they're blasting him a little bit they're attacking my character they're cultists damn it Crap, these guys were a pain in the ass long enough for me to lose track of the dude. And I'm going the wrong direction. One of the things is an option is you steal his itinerary. I didn't bother doing that because in reality, if you follow the guy, yeah, it's a slow process. But at some point, you can ambush him and kill him in a city and then plant some evidence on him. I'm going to get back to following him. Now that I'm behind him, it's pretty obvious that he's going to wind up in solitude. So I'm going to do some major fast forwarding until we get to solitude or the area around solitude. Yeah, this is a serious long walk. I mean, you're talking about four minutes of stuff compressed down to 12 seconds. The odd thing is, once this guy gets to solitude or his destination, if you enter in before him, he automatically will pop into the city. And I'll show you what happens. Keep back, citizen. I have important business I must attend to. You know you can afford a septum or two. Coil? 
explain or two for a veteran? It's not much to ask. You should see me when you get bored, stranger. Keep the cold at bay with our spiced wine. The Emperor's cousin Kiri. Right here in solitude, I feel nothing but shame. Someone there. Stop right there. Smart man. Now, come along with us. We'll take any stolen goods and you'll be free to go. After you pay the fine, of course. Only a 40 gold bounty? Well, it didn't work out as planned, but I managed to slip the letter on the guy, get arrested, and well, now I'm going to go back to the Thieves, or not Thieves Guild, Assassin's Guild, and collect my reward. Ah, at last. I've been anxiously awaiting your return. Yes, I know. As does Astrid. You have done well, and have earned both your reward and a bonus, as I have mentioned. But you should know that we have a more pressing matter to deal with. It's... Cicero. There's been an incident. You should proceed into the sanctuary. I'll let Astrid explain. Just try to relax, Bizarro. Let the elixir do its work. You'll feel better shortly. Ah, thank you, dear. You're back. Good. You're most kind. You'll want to hear this. The Jester's cut feels as bad as it looks, I'm afraid. Damn it! this never should have happened. We knew better. We knew better, and still we let our guards down. Ugh! I'll admit, even I'm having a hard time disagreeing with you. Marrow is dead, I know. But we've got bigger problems right now. The fool went absolutely berserk. He wounded Vizara, tried to kill me, and then he fled. I knew that lunatic couldn't be trusted. Oh, it's true, I'm afraid. Cicero was a little whirlwind, slashing this way and that. It, it would have been funny if he weren't trying to murder us all. Don't forget the ranting and raving about the Night Mother, how she was the true leader of the Dark Brotherhood, and Astrid was just a pretender. Look, we've got to deal with this situation. You've got to deal with this situation. I want you to find that miserable little fool and end his life. But first, find my husband. Make sure he's all right. After the attack, Arnbjorn flew into a rage. When Cicero left, Arnbjorn went after him. They disappeared into the wild. Search Cicero's room. Maybe there's something in there that sheds some light on where he might have gone. Let me know the minute you find something. I've got to see to Vizara and calm everyone down. Arrested by a fool. Who's the fool now? So now you have to go to Cicero's room and find some evidence. And eventually you're going to have to go kill Cicero, which will be part of what would be now part six coming up. And yeah, this is kind of drawn out. When you go to Cicero's room, you find his journal, which details some stuff i mean it's just prattling and blah 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 you know he talks about the 
um, brotherhood and tradition and whatever and an abandoned um, thing, an old sanctuary, etc. Yeah, that will be for the next part. You just bring this diary back to the other people as evidence. Have you found something? Good, good. Does it say where he may be headed? The Dawnstar Sanctuary? Whatever for. Never mind, it doesn't matter. You need to leave. Now. Every moment counts. So I want you to take my horse. His name is Shadowmere. You'll find him outside by the pool. Let's just say he's... one of us. Find Arnbjorn. Make sure my husband's all right. And then, send that jester's twisted little soul to the void. In as many pieces as possible. No, nothing. At least, nothing I'm aware of. Well, if I'm being honest, I haven't exactly been discreet lately in expressing my frustration with this whole situation. Obeying the Night Mother, you being the listener, it's ridiculous. No offense. Cicero may have overheard me talking to one of the others about the Night Mother. It's possible I was not entirely respectful. But to go this far, to attempt to murder the leader of a sanctuary, Cicero must pay with his life. There is no other option. I took that prancing fool into my home, and this is how he repays me? Cool. You get Shadowmere, and the horse is a really nice horse. You see, really cool, glowing red eyes. Yeah, really a cool horse. Great reward. And then if you want to stay after this um, as part of a kicker, I'm going to show you two things. One, what you should do before you start this mission, and Olava's token and what that provides. If you found this video informative and you like it, leave a thumbs up. Hit the thumbs up button icon and feel free to um, leave a comment. If you like this type of video, hit the subscribe button and bell icon and you'll be informed when I post my videos. I post four videos a week involving video games and a short on Wednesday. As always, thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and thanks for stopping by. In the previous mission, you may have racked up a huge bounty in Solitude, and you want to pay that off before you do this mission. Remember everything I said. Stay alert. When you get to the city, make your observations and move on. You have committed crimes against Skyrim and her people. What say you in your defense? Smart man. If you don't travel to Solitude first and pay your bounty, the mission gets interrupted and you may have to actually steal the itinerary. Now I'm going to show you the Olava's token. Maybe some other token, you say? Let me see. Oh, goodness me, you're a friend of Gabriella's then. Well, I guess we both know why you're here. Hmm. Well, yes, yes, I, I surely can. It, it's not something I do lightly, mind you, and it's, it's not as specific as you might want, but yes, I, 
I will do this for you. Please relax. Free your mind. Yes, that's it. There's a cave. No, not a cave. A home. A, a, a place you feel secure. You will find safety there. Sanctuary. I see snow lit by the star of dawn. And you are not alone. There are others. A child of night. A stalker of the sands. Oh, but before you are family, there will be blood. Such blood. Wait, there's something else. A potential for adventure and wealth. It is a ruin, ripe for the plunder. Deep wood, redoubt, far to the northwest. Through there is Hag's End, the last resting place of an assassin of old. A dark brother who bequeaths his ancient earthly possessions to you. No, no, that is all. Now, now, please. I find myself very weary all of a sudden. And there you have it. Again, I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and thanks for stopping by.